Welcome everyone. In today's video I would like to look at how to build a minor scale. So this is going to be one of the most important topics you, you can learn if you know how to build a major scale that's obviously more important and you'll see why in just a moment. So today we're going to build a minor scale. We're going to build one of the simplest minor scales ever uh, but that's okay because we need to start somewhere. So first off the there are two rules to do this. One, the first rule is build and if you hopefully you guessed it build a major scale that's actually our first rule we have to build a major scale before we can do anything and our second rule is we are going to flat three flat six and flat seven and that means we're going to flat the third sixth and seventh degrees of the major scale let's get started so i'm going to go ahead and start here with building a uh, we want to try to build an a minor scale and let's go ahead and start with the basic, uh, what I would call the skeleton, right? Just the simple layout, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, back to A. But we know that this is not the A minor scale, uh, at least yet accordingly, right? We have to go through the steps. We have to build the major scale. And so, well, I'm not going to go through too much about building a major scale here because we've, we've really covered that in previous videos. But just know that a major scale has to follow, it has to follow whole whole half whole 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 half so to do that I'm going to put a sharp here and a sharp here and a sharp here so that the A major scale would be A B C sharp D E F sharp G sharp and A and it, you can verify this later on if you like to you can you can go and verify my math so we're actually we're done with step one we're going to take a look at step two and in step two it says that we have to flat three flat six and flat seven so let's just kind of number these really quick and one two three four five six seven we'll call this back to one and i want to talk about what flatting is not let's start with that concept so flatting is not this it's not taking c sharp and lowering that down to c flat it is not taking f sharp and bringing that down to f flat that would not be considered flatting g sharp down to g flat these are all uh, I apologize, G sharp down to G flat. These are all poor examples of what it is not. So that's not what it means when we have to flat three, six, and seven. Uh, the function of a flat, if you recall from a previous video, is that it just goes down by a half step. So I just want to think to myself, what is a half step lower than C sharp? That would be C. And I want to think to myself, what is a half step lower than F sharp? And that would be F. And finally, I want to think to myself, what is a half step lower than G sharp? And that would be G. Now, in this instance, you might look at this uh, scale and go, well, wait a minute. Isn't this the thing that you just wrote out in the beginning? You said, write the skeleton out and then build the major scale and then go ahead and flat three, six, and seven. And wait a minute, you just sort of, you did the work and then you undid it. Like you, uh, you sharped C. F and G, and then you unsharped them, and you, you flatted them, and, and you took everything away, and you, you write, and you're right back where you started. Yes, that is true. However, that is not always the case. This is sort of a special case, A minor, sort of a special case where that happens, so you absolutely need to go through the steps. Let's go ahead and take a look at a slightly more challenging example. All right, so in this example, we're going to take a look at how to build the E minor scale. That's our next example here, and so once again, I want to start off by building... I want to start off by building the basic skeleton. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, back to E. Okay, now my next goal is I will have to build the E major scale. And so again, we're thinking about whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. And if I go through that, I'm going to end up with F sharp, G sharp, C sharp, and D sharp and that's going to give me an E minor and then my next uh, objective after that is remember I have to flat 3 flat 6 and flat 7 okay and so now let's go ahead and find 3 6 and 7 1 2 3 so I'm going to take my G sharp and we're going to flat it 1 2 3 4 5 6 would be a C sharp I'm going to turn that into C and then finally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to turn my D sharp into 
D. And that is how we build the E minor scale. In future videos, we're going to continue to take a look at how to build minor scales. We're going to give some more examples to get just more practice. The goal is to become more confident in any skill that we that we gain. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you've really enjoyed what you've seen so far, please just go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. It'll help keep us going so we can put out more great content for you.